We have recently hit 7,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful for that landmark. But now we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So it would be greatly appreciated if you could take one second out of your day to drop a sub on the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, No Limit Dots here, back with another video. And before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you all out there, the other are kings and queens, and I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the top five best big man jump shots in season two in NBA 2K24 next gen, right? So just to, just to get some things out of the way right off the bat, right? That you're going to be asking. I, I would assume like many questions you would have, right? Your shot time visual cue, what I would recommend is going to be push. All right. I would recommend it to be push. Me personally on every build that I shoot, I use set point, but I would go, I would recommend push for all of these. Second of all, a lot of you guys are going to ask for the visual cue on every single one of these jump shots. I'm going to be honest, right? I don't use these jump shots, right? You might click off the video. You might be like, what is he talking about? I don't run center. I'm a point guard or a back end, primarily a point guard. Like 90% of the time I'm playing this game, I'm playing it at point guard at the highest level in leagues. Um, and the way I could tell you guys these center jump shots are good is because the centers that I use on my team, they're all shooting centers. And that's... I'm a very minority. Basically, nobody in the in the comp pro am community uses a shooting center, but I always do. And I make sure my boys are greening. And they are greening, right? So these jump shots have been tested at the highest level of the game. Right? So trust. These jump shots are chicken. Make sure you want to stay around. I have all type of jump shots for all different ratings. And I have five jump shots in this video. Five. So there's gotta be one out there for you. And don't feel bad if you're shooting bad, right? This year, this year, shooting is the best way I could explain it. It's not hard. It's random, right? One game, you go six for six. Next game, two for eight, right? It, it, that's just how it is this game this year, all right? Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the first jump shot. I'm not going to be able to show you on this build. This is currently what I would recommend to be the best jump shot in the, in the, in the entire game. Also, there will be a base here that I won't be able to show you because this build in itself does not have a high enough rating for it. It only has a 77 three ball on this build. All right, so just for example, the center build that my Pro-Am Center uses, 92 stand dunk, some good three ball, 92 for Hall of Fame break starter. Yeah, uh, Hall of Fame box LB is goal rebound chaser and all that type of good stuff with the 90 strength for a goal brick hole. But let's go ahead and get into the jump shots. So as I was saying before, on this particular build right now, I'm not gonna be able to get the jump shot the best most highest recommended jump shot i can give you which i believe you need at least an 83 midi or three ball um so the base is going to end up being dwight powell base the upper release is going to be marquis chris and then the second release is going to be well i could show you what it's going to be but uh where's he at tim duncan you see you need at least an 83 ball for this but you could go ahead and like you need at least an 80 or 81 but in this instance what we're going to do is we could put it to 80% Marquise Chris, 20% Tim Duncan. You would need a 79 midi or 79 three ball for this exact jumper. But that is going to be jump shot number one. Jump shot number two, though, which I am going to go ahead and show you the jump shot. You're going to end up having, uh, it's going to be Marquise Chris and Tyler Cook. And you're going to want to just make sure the main thing with all these big man jumpers, you're going to want a plus release speed. That's the most important thing. Disregard defense, immunity, timing, stability. Uh, you want the release speed to be high, right? So this jump shot is saved. Let me just go ahead and video test save. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys every single time I'm testing out jump shots. I know some people say this is like rookie difficulty or it doesn't take into uh, into, into um, account like timing latency online. But I go to the artist shooting gym because it's the easiest. You got your full stamina because you're not going to shoot off the dribble with it. Like most of the time you're shooting, you're going to have like maximum stamina. I don't want to start this drill, but I appreciate you lethal shooter looking out and trying to give me my lethal spots. But let me go ahead and get this ball and show you guys this jumper, right? This is me. I'm push. I don't even shoot on push. I shoot on set point and I already green the first one. Second one, that's going to be green too. Or not slightly late, but trust me, these jumpers are all very easy to green. You just got to go ahead and learn your time. You got to take a second to get into the gym and learn and master your craft. And I swear, I'm actually missing all these. Look, let me show you. I don't shoot on push, right? 
go ahead and put that thing to set point and watch all these be green. And I don't even shoot. I don't even have a center. I've never even really used this jump shot in a game, and it's green right away. One shot. Let me get a second one. Show you guys that wasn't luck. You know, maybe it was luck. Let me, let me, let me, I got to end it off on a make, though. You know what I mean? Get into the third jumper. All right, you know what? You guys get the point. Dwight Powell, it's no mystery at this point. Unless you have, like, Chris Bosh or something like that. Uh, but that you unlock at at starter three, it's going to be. But let me go ahead and get into technically jump shot number three. But for you guys, I'll count it as jump shot number two. So technically, you guys are getting the added extra jump shot in this video. Go ahead and get to the animations vid test. So the second jump shot I do want to show you guys is going to be probably the, the second or third best base. It's going to be Jonathan Isaac base, right? And I don't want you guys saying you don't get these jump shots because you do. Even though I'm struggling a little bit to find it right now, but trust and believe you do. It's right here, bottom of page five. Jonathan Isaac. So you want Jonathan Isaac? Marquise Chris is basically going to be in every single upper release for big man jump shots because it just makes it the fastest possible at the end of the day. And then you're going to want to go ahead and throw on Bruno Fernando. All right, Bruno Fernando as the other release, maximum speed, and you want to go ahead and put it to I would. You want it as fast as possible. So you want to go ahead and rock 88 Chris, 12% Bruno Fernando with Jonathan Isaac base. We saved the jump shot. Let's go ahead and get into the gym and get some shots up. And I'm going to end up showing you guys a jump shot on this game as a center build that uh, you don't really need even a 77 three ball. This jumper obviously is going to be a little slower. It has a higher arc. I personally do like the Jonathan Isaac base the most. But speaking with my shooting centers, they say that they like Dwight Powell base the most. They say Jonathan Isaac, it's a little too slow, but I shoot on set points. So for me, it's really not that slow. You can see I was green. I'm probably like two for four right now. I'll go ahead and end this off on a make. And there we go. We made that one. Let's go ahead and get into jump shot number three. For jump shot number three, it's going to be the slowest out of all the jump shots I'm going to show you. But it's Andre Drummond base, Marquise Chris release one, upper release to Tim Duncan. 70 30 this one all it requires is a 67 three ball to have because the andre drummond base all you need for that is a 45 midi or 45 three so this i'm literally showing you guys a jump shot that any shooting center no matter the rating it has you could get this jump shot i go i went ahead and i equipped the jump shot let's go ahead and see what it looks like i mean it's literally it looks like Dwight Powell. Like, I can't really tell that much of a difference between this and Dwight Powell. And honestly, you see me slightly lading these. This might low-key, despite the rating, it might be the fastest out of all the jumpers i don't i don't know i did i don't think i saw myself slightly any of the other ones it does i will say this it has a weird load up like the response time between you starting your shot and the load up it is slow like i, I can significantly tell an input delay of the jump shot and hitting the x button but the jump shot like i said it, it, it's like the minimum required jump shot you can't expect to get a golden jump shot with a 60 or you know 65 three bar or midi you know what i mean this is just this is what will get by right personally i'm not the great i'm not the biggest fan because I, I could feel that type of input delay but there's that's why it's a top five list and that's why this jump shot doesn't require a high midi or high three ball let's go ahead and get into jump shot number four all right, jump shot number four. It's going to be kind of a little bit of a weird one, but there's always everybody has their own cup of tea. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and throw on Jared Vanderbilt base. All you need is a 73 midi or a 73 three ball. You got to be at least six foot five. So if you're taller than six foot five, you get this jump shot no matter what your height is. We're going to go Marquise Chris and Tim Duncan. We're going to go 90% Marquise Chris, 10% Duncan. And honestly, you get that B release high, A release speed, C defense immunity, and D plus timing stability. Not the worst, honestly. But we got the jump shot equipped. And let's get into the gym. I haven't really tested out this Jared Vanderbilt jump shot yet, right? But my boy was cooking up with it in the lab the other day, playing theater. And he said he's going to bring it out to our next Pro-Am run. So, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Whoa, wait a second. Wait a second. I mean, it's not bad. It's really not horrendous. I'm honestly, this might be my favorite one. You know, I don't shoot with this in game but this might be the fi my favorite one i might have to th it, it's six five and above i have a back end with very low uh with very low three ball it's a 77 three ball i might have to test this base out i mean you see me i have not missed 
wow that, that's a good jump shot right there guys definitely definitely if you stuck around to this part of the video I'm, I really like that jump shot. Jared Vanderbilt base. It did not feel B plus speed. It felt quicker. It definitely, I would definitely rank that above Andre Drummond. And potentially, it rivals Dwight Powell. For me, Jonathan Isaac is my favorite base out of all of them. But it rivals Dwight Powell. I'm not going to lie. But let me go ahead and show you jump shot number five. For jump shot number five, it's going to be Dwayne Dedman base. You need at least a 76 midi or 76 three ball. Marquise Chris and Nick Claxton as the releases. Maximum speed, 80% Chris, 20% Claxton. Let's go ahead and get into the gym and show off jump shot number five for you guys. With Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant. Yeah, let's go. Wipe those hands dry, man. Can't have the ball slipping. Oh, this jump shot. It's got a hitch to it. I ain't gonna lie, the jump shot has a hitch to it, but I kind of like that about it. This is a very unique, it's a unique jump shot. I mean, you see me green two in a row. You see me green two in a row. I like it though. A three in a row. It has a nasty hitch. I'm not gonna lie. If you're a visual cue type of guy though, this is your type of jumper. That's three in a row. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. This might be the nastiest looking jumper, but I like it the best. I mean, bro, I haven't missed with the jump shot. What is going on? Nah, this is crazy. Either either this base has the biggest green window or I just figured something out. What is going I don't know. I literally didn't miss a shot. What just happened? Let me go ahead and just... Let me make sure and double check that I had the right jump shot on. Hey, bro, everybody has their jump shots that they prefer and maybe this is just the best jump shot for me is the best one i shot so far yeah it's on vid test we go ahead and pull vid test dwayne deadman dwayne deadman 80 percent chris 20 percent clacks and well, guys that's going to be the top five jump shots for season number two if you did overall enjoy the jump shot video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and it's been your boy no limit dots and i'm out peace